Hi, today I'd like to introduce you to the new Moodle Google Assignments plugin. This plugin allows you to integrate some of the functionality of Google Classroom, particularly paperless assignment management. If you're not familiar with how Google Classroom works, you may want to take a look at that before getting started. Um, to learn more about Google Classroom, you can go to our academic technology page at www.colby.edu slash assets and scroll down towards the bottom and just click on that Google Classroom link there. And there are several video tutorials created by yours truly to get you started. For now, I want to jump right into actually using this plugin in Moodle. And as with anything in Moodle, to get started, we have to turn editing on. We can then scroll down to a topic block and add Google, assign Google Assignments as an activity. And there it is right there, Google Assignments LTI. So go ahead and click on that. Give it a name. And then click Select Content. At this point, it will prompt you to log in to a Google account. Use your Colby one, obviously. And there we go. Important caveat, make sure the total number of points for the assignment is the same in Google Assignments as it is in Moodle. I'll get into that a bit more in a second. Um, you can also give it a due date. If you have a due date assigned in Moodle, you wanna make sure that matches as well. From there, we can attach a Google Doc. So the point of this is that you can have your assignment already sort of typed up as a template, select it, And then Google Assignments will share a copy of that with each student. The student can then type all over it, submit it to you when, you're, when they're done. Okay, we're all done in here. I'm gonna click Create. And apparently there's a bug there, so I'm going to retype the title. Hopefully we'll fix that later. And just to make sure, I'm going to take a look at how the assignment is graded in Moodle itself. Point value is 100, that matches, excellent. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and save this and return to the course. Now, if I turn editing off, and then head back to our assignment, when I click on it, the Google Assignments slash Google Classroom user interface will appear. As students submit assignments, you will then be able to click on them, mark them up in Google Docs, and then grade them and return them using assignments. I mentioned earlier that it's important to make sure that the point values match up. The reason is, and really the whole point of this plugin is, that Google Assignments will integrate with the, Google, with the Moodle gradebook. And you can actually see it here under grades. If I just scroll over a bit. And there it is. And it'll be graded on that 100 point scale. And that's really it. That's all you have to do to get started with this plugin. Thanks for watching.